Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we have uh, today we have a very special guest in our art and culture session, Noreen Tasnim, who is our ECAD Youth Fellow 2023. So, uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, leave the floor for Noreen Tasnim and let her do her work and show us what Arohon is all about. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joey Abor. Thank you so much, ICAD. Uh, welcome, everyone, for today's session. I'm Noreen Tasneem, uh, ICAD Fellow of 2023, and I'm currently studying in Disaster Management in University of Dhaka. So I'm the founder and the director of RO. And let's start talking about my journey. So I'm presenting the screen. So can you see it, everyone? OK. Yes, yes. So our uh, is about bridging imagination with innovation. So if we talk about our session, the rise of the climate warriors. So who are the climate warriors? It's all of us who are striving for a green and sustainable future. It's from Dr. Hawk to Greta Thunberg to all of us to the individual who is living in the coastal sites of Bangladesh. If we are living a green life with a uh, sustainable lifestyle, we are all the climate warriors. So the journey of Arohon started when I was in first year of my university. When I came to disaster management, I thought I have learned about all of this, but people who are daily impacting by all this climate issues and disaster crisis, they don't know how they are uh, contributing to these issues. So I thought, how about we mainstream this and let people know about this. Uh, for a journey, I teach uh, some of the high schoolers and college students. And when I gave them something to write about creative writing, I saw there is a major gap uh, in their creative section, they are getting limited, their thoughts are getting limited. So I asked them and their parents that what they do in their leisure time. They asked me, they watch YouTube and Facebook, and most of the time they watch uh, gaming streams or reels. This is not a bad thing unless they're consuming unhealthy things. So most of the things they're consuming, according to a survey, 47% is not very uh, healthy for them. So they are limiting their thoughts and they are not getting quality education. So I thought, why not I merge it? And I personally love to watch anime and cartoons. And I used to watch it from my childhood, which helped me to enhance my imagination and creativity a lot. And the youth are the futures. They have so much creativity in them, but for these reasons of social uh, social medias and uh, digitalizations, we cannot uh, see them using their creativity from this age. They think they I will do great when I become older, but the time is now. So Arhon uh, is an acronym for Adaptation and Resilience Outreach Humanitarian Operations Network. It majorly focuses on the humanitarian aspects and to empower youth in climate action and disaster management activities. So uh, the real, literal meaning of Arohon in Bengali is ascend. So capturing the essence of the organization's mission to ascend above climate changes through informed action of youth. So I thought uh, it was a great opportunity to me when I got the uh, grant from ICAD, I won it and I thought I can do something innovative from this. And there is a major gap in our field of disaster management in Bangladesh. Whereas Bangladesh is the most disaster prone country uh, and we know the experience of disasters. People from all over the country are facing it and tackling it day to day, but they don't even know that their actions and adaptation techniques are so much valuable that we can share with other people around the world. 
and we can uh, create a positive impact around the world. So I thought to present these things, these LLAs, uh, locally led adaptation techniques, and their indigenous knowledge in front in a subtle manner that uh, people incorporate themselves, uh, their knowledge, and practice those sustainable techniques in their daily lives. So here comes the aims of Arohons, which is to rise the climate warriors. We can all be the climate warriors we, if we follow the sustainable and green lifestyle, empower youth as leaders as they will go and lead the world and they are the futures. Promoting sustainable practices like not only tree plantation, also like uh, reducing carbon footprints by using cycle or recycling and everything related to it. Intersectionality and inclusivity is a major part here, which I learned from my discipline. And I want everyone to know this, uh, wherever they're going or whichever profession they're choosing, there should be intersectional approach of disaster and crisis management because everyone is not a similar level of vulnerable. Then youth in disaster management or DRR is very, plays a very major role as they are the futures, they will get impacted more. So their opinion matters. So that's why uh, we can see in Paris Agreement uh, 2015 that if our temperature increases above two degrees Celsius, uh, above yeah, then we are going to face a lot of troubles. There are chances that we might get extinct or many living things. So to restrict it below 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial era, we should do actions now. And according to Bangladesh Delta Plan, uh, in 21st century, we have to reduce our climate uh, crisis and disasters for a resilient future. So incorporating all these issues, I thought of bridging my imagination with my innovation. I thought of different things that, uh, how can I do, uh, love and with my profession how can i merge it then comes renaissance 21 i thought it that we have to do a revolutionary change within this 21st century so emergence of climate warriors and climate heroes are essential now we saw that superman batman encourages us and our lifestyle a lot. And we love those superheroes, especially the kids and the youth, the high schoolers, uh, their lifestyles are greatly impacted by those. So I thought there is a huge international and global gap. Also, our nation doesn't have a particular anime series about climate heroes, but they are the heroes we need. They are the heroes we can be. So why not it? So disaster management, climate crisis, and all, all over things, as uh, we can reduce these impacts, adverse impacts, by becoming climate warriors. So Renesa 21 is the climate concept revolution of 21st century that we you need to do so this is a story of all of us so we uh, incorporate this knowledge with uh, entertainment and create a um, platform for you that they can enjoy and learn as well so if we force them to learn it and do the climate actions, some of them might lose their interest. But if we give them this knowledge in a subtle way, they might um, love it and they might take it as their lifestyle. So according to UN uh, uh, FCCC, there's a concept of the triple planetary crisis, which are three concepts that are interlinked. It's about climate change, environmental pollution, and biodiversity and ecological loss. I want to share this because this is a very basic knowledge. Maybe all of you know about this, but these are very interlinked and basics, which we should know. Climate change uh, is... Uh, for uh, I think many of the reasons of environmental pollutions or global warming is a major thing which is enforcing climate change in an adverse way and which is uh, majorly impacting the biodiversity. <clears throat> so the, we can see the ecological loss from it. 
many animals and uh, fishes are getting uh, lost and extinct for this and this is impacting the whole ecological system so it is interlinked if we pollute our environment our uh, nature then it's going to be bad for us and eventually we all are getting impacted by this and if there is no ecological balance so how can we live in a sustainable or great future even if we go to different professions if someone becomes an engineer or a businessman we can contribute from there like we can and create sustainable infrastructures, we can plan CSR. So from all of our places, we can contribute for a better future as a climate warrior. So about climate justice, it's a major thing which I learned from ICAD and my discipline that climate justice is a thing that we all are impacting our world, but for some of our uh, actions, more for developing and developed countries, the people of low income or low middle income countries are facing major um, adverse impacts. Like some more millions and billions of people have to change their homes. They are displaced because of extreme weather patterns. Maybe we are polluting our environment here and some of them, some of people of Africa is getting affected by this weather conditions. Can global warming happens all over the world for our actions, for our individual actions, for our collective actions. What is luxury for us may be very costly for some of them. So we are um, using fossil fuels and uh, renewable energy where we can use renewable energy. We are using uh, fossil fuels and burning it. And there is carbon emissions due to our actions, which is increasing global warming and the climate is changing. Extreme weather patterns are seen. These are major adverse impacts for people of lower and lower middle income countries who maybe these are impacting them indirectly. Some of their uh, houses are gone. Many of their uh, children's education is off. These are major issues which is impacting us directly and indirectly. If I use uh, water and energy here, without any liability maybe people from a saline region and from where they don't get enough of it they are facing bad impacts for my consumption so there's a there should be accountability for our consumption mainly i want to talk about a new concept of intersectionality which should be incorporated in our climate action and disaster risk reduction policies that by uh, uh, that by focusing on intersectional approaches like vulnerable there are people from different vulnerable groups like women children person with disabilities but they are vulnerable at different levels so we have to um, measure their vulnerabilities and uh, there should be equitable uh, approaches for them and first we should ensure equity then we have to give equal rights to them and focus on them so that we can ensure a holistic disaster management system and climate action in our country and globally and that these are the reasons why renesa 21 comes and i thought of this emotion animation i built a team um may, many people who are interested my friends and fellows joined my team and we tried to create something innovative and the first ever climate hero franchise in bangladesh i hope you will all enjoy it and let's play uh, the videos thank you so much गाजीपुर एक शवायर शबु जे शहरे आकाश ता देखता दुचोक मोरे और श्वाते जे बाता से पूर्ण होते ही प्राण तबे आज आवादेर शे शांतीर नागुरी 
হয়ে উঠেছে সোর বলে ভরা এক ধুলোবালির রাজ্য এখন ভাবছি আবার কবে এই সুউচ্চ দালানগুলির ভিড়ে একটু স্বস্তির নিঃশ্বাস নেব এই যান্ত্রিকতার মাঝেই বিশুদ্ধতার স্বপ্ন বুনছে নিলা আর সেই স্বপ্নগুলোকে বাস্তবে পরিণত করতে সে এগিয়ে চলছে পূর্ণ উদ্যমে কেন সেরা হয় ওই বলবে একদিন তবে কি সুন্দর বাতাস পুরাই আমার মতো কুল ভাই দিচ্ছে তাই না মামা কি রে কি হলো তোর আবার আরে না কিছু না চল আগাই রেস লাগবে আমার সাথে হ্যাঁ খুব আরে ছোট্ট রুপস আজকে তো তোমাকে অনেক ফ্রেশ লাগতেছে এই কপি মেও খালি দুষ্টামি না আমাকে বাঁচা ভাই কাল রাত থেকে টেনশনে শেষ হয়ে যাচ্ছি যাওয়ার সিটি হাই রে পাগল আজকে রবিবার সিটি তো সোমবার ও হ্যাঁ আমি ভাবছিলাম আজকে সোমবার ভালোই হয়েছে তাহলে বেটার প্রিপারেশন নিতে পারবো হ্যাঁ আজকে ছুটির পরে লাইব্রেরিতে বসে একসাথে পড়া শেষ করবো নে অম্লা নেবার ব্যাগ বাস দিলে ওর কপালে শনি আছে এটা না ও ওই তো আরে এটা কি আসিস তোর ঠান্ডায়
these are short episodes so people can keep their focus yeah playing the third one सब दे चिल कर फिल फोन पासीना क्या हस्पिटल world The other is also affected. Ami thik bujlam na. Oi dikta takie dakhu nila. Elysium, a world of harmony. Ekhan kar bisheshottoi hoche Elysium der majhe equilibrium. Jeta ekhon human activities er jonno marato disturbed. Jar karone happy Elysiums ekhon tader sanity harie. সম্পূর্ণ অপোজিট ক্যারেক্টারে টার্ন করছে অ্যান্ড ফর দিস রিজন আর্থে দেখা দিচ্ছে কেয়স এই ইম্ব্যালেন্সে যেমন আর্থের লিভিং বিং সাফার করছে তেমন করছে এলিসিয়নরাও তাই গার্ডিয়ানস অফ দ্য এলিসিয়ন ম্যাল ফাংশন এলিসিয়নদেরকে একটা প্রিজনে রেখেছে সো দ্যাট দে ক্যান ব্রিং ব্যাক দ্য হারমোনি কিন্তু মানুষের জন্য যখন এই ডিস্টারবেন্সটা বেড়ে যায় তখন সেই সুযোগে এক ডেঞ্জারাস এলিসিয়ন প্রিজেন্ট ব্রেক করে তোমার পৃথিবীতে যে সমস্যাটা দেখছো সেটার কারণ এটাই সো নাও দ্য চ্যালেঞ্জ ইজ নট অনলি টু সেভ এলিসিয়ন বাট অলসো টু রিস্টোর দ্য ব্যালেন্স বিটুইন দ্য কানেক্টেড ওয়ার্ল্ডস আর আমি বিশ্বাস করি মানুষের মাঝেই এমন অনেক পিওর সোল আছে যারা এই হারমোনিটা ফিরিয়ে আনতে পারবে Therefore, you are chosen to be one of Elysion's defenders, Nila. What are you doing, Gula? What are you doing? I'm going to go to my house. Hello, Sheryl. Hello, friend. What are you doing? Yes, I'm going to go to my house. তোরা কোথায় ঠিক আছিস তো হ্যাঁ কেন আমরা তো লাইব্রেরি থেকে বের হচ্ছি বৃষ্টির জন্য আটকে গিয়েছিলাম হঠাৎ এই কথা না ঠিক নেই জম্বি অ্যাটাক এই থাম তো আমরা নীলা তুই ভিজে বাসায় গেছিস না তুই আর সুদ্রা দিনা ফ্রেশ হয়ে রেস্ট নে নিচ্ছি দোস্ত আর শুন তোরা সাবধানে বাসায় যাইস সব তো ঠিকই আছে কি সব দেখলাম এগুলা স্বপ্ন নাকি বাস্তব হয়তো ঘুমের ঘরে দেখছি
<clears throat> if you're enjoying, I can play the fourth episode. So let's share it. Wait. Okay, sure. Thanks a lot, those. To last meter help to na pele ashuli para vijay to. But actor jinish bol to. To nae chapter tone ek kothi na to. Hey, sheita lag to. Kintu janish. Aaj ke shokal theke hot a chop kicho ne clear lag to se. As if life different angles theke dekte si. Oh ho, smelling mystery kahi ni ki, ha? Aane na, cha. Amon kicho na. It's just suddenly, I feel like a genius. In your veins flows the essence of the untamed world, a gift of purity and power. Use it wisely, for the balance of life rests in your hands. Mane, oi gula shop shotti chilo. Okay. Calm down, Nila. You must make a plan. Hmm, thunderstorm. Mati. Yes, that's it. Lightning rods. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but something urgent came up. Can I be excused? Okay, Nila, but drop an application with a valid reason. Absolutely, ma'am. Will do. Lightning protection system. Air terminals, also known as lightning rods, Bodropate Shomoy, Biddu Takoshon Kore. Tarpor conductor guli, Boydutik Probaho, Niche Niejai. Ebong shop sheshe, proper arting, shape Biddu Choktike, Shampur no have a pretty with a prosher kore. A shop milie, ekti lightning protection system toidi. Just structure a rupor, Bodropate Proba, brush put the babri to her. I need to think fast. Because if I don't, I'm Abar. Now it's all up to me. Now I'm going to You are chosen to be one of Elysion's defenders, Nila. Use it wisely. No, I'm a parbu. Let's do this. Just need to focus on your special shot. How is this possible? How can a tiny girl like you be so remarkable? But this is not the end. Takhobeabar, Tumar Tongsho Onibarjo. I should be proud of myself. I still can't believe it. If I had some help, I would have been able to get out of the way. If only I had some help, I would have been able to get out of So, 
the thing is, this is a little initiative from all of us, the team Arohon I get. Thank you so much. I believe the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to do what you love. This is said by the great Steve Jobs and this has inspired me a lot. And another quote from uh, the French author Voltaire is that uh, with great power comes great responsibilities. We are not superheroes in our real life, but we can be climate warriors and superheroes from our end if we try. So this is the story of Nila and many other youths, but this is also the story of Noreen, Joey, Faria, Ayman, and everyone. We can all be the climate warriors if we want. And these are the so small steps for a great future towards a sustainable future, towards a climate resilience, ba resilient Bangladesh. And thank you so much. Feel free to ask questions or give feedbacks. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Noreen, for showing us this on a very special day on Women's Day, uh, showing us a woman superhero, which is very rare to see in like Marvel comics or DC comics or so on. And we really appreciate you for doing this great work. And now we will just open the floor for our attendees to ask some questions for Noreen or if they have any feedbacks on it. Uh, we would like to request you if you have any kind of questions or you can also raise your hand. Okay, thank you so much. And stay tuned with Arohon. And this is this was just the beginning. And uh, yeah, there's a question. Yeah, I have a plan to continue this work. This was uh, a project from my grant, and I wish to continue this further. This is quite new in Bangladesh, uh, so I wish to continue this by um, doing more collaboration with organizations. If I get grant and I have enough resources, I can continue my work. And also, this was just the first season. This is also have two more seasons of, uh, this is about sustainable practices and the other seasons will be about other issues. And then uh, it's like a group of superheroes with collaborate and do incredible things together. And as you can see, this is just the beginning. We wish to continue in the future with all of our efforts together and with a collaborative approach and wish to present Bangladesh uh, internationally. Thank you so much. Um, I guess if there are no questions or comments, we can just end our session today. Thank you so much, Noreen, for taking the time to show us your work. And we wish you a very good luck. And we are really interested to have the where the stories go on and where your Renaissance 21 goes. And that's how we end our session today. And thank you to all the attendees today for attending our session and taking the time to see our uh, youth fellows work. And thank you. Uh, so before ending the session, can I?